Well, here we are, a Paralympic bronze medalist and a title holder here at the Australian Nationals again. Susan, great to catch up with you. First of all, how was that and, and how has it been for you so far this week? It's a busy week, of course. Yeah, it's been a bit full on. Uh, a few races, I had three races on today, but um, not complaining because lots of people have a lot more. Um, but yeah, it's a bit tired, but um, yeah, I'm happy with how it went. Uh, tricky conditions with the wind, especially in the V1 with no rudder, you can get caught in the wind and get taken out of your lane really easily. So I had to be quite conscious of that, and but also go as hard as I could. So I was happy. And of course, with mixed class races, uh, you and Amanda have a nice little rivalry going out there. Is it always nice to, to get one over her? <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yeah, she's grade three, so technically she should be in front of me. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's always a bit um, interesting with the, the mixed classes. Um, it's good though, it makes up numbers for the race because you don't want to be out there just racing by yourself. It's a bit lonely. Um, so yeah, it's good. And Susan, uh, what has life been like for you post, uh, post Rio? Yeah, pretty amazing. Um, I've had a lot of opportunities come up since the Paralympics and um, yeah, it was just a great experience and being able to bring home a medal and everyone was just so pleased and happy and yeah, it, it's been great. Um, yeah, I've done a bit of media stuff, a um, bit of stuff for Lorna Jane and um, um, uh, ambassador for um, the Australian Swim School Association, which is kind of exciting. And um, yeah, it's just going back to my charities, um, the McIntyre Centre and the RSPCA. So yeah, I've been working, working hard since I've been back. And has it made you hungry for more? Um, yeah, absolutely. I think it's been nice to come back and have a little break and kind of reassess where you're at. And um, yeah, having like such great results at that level, I think kind of spurs you on to think that, yeah, it's definitely possible to keep going and to get more success. And I mean, I mean, obviously, world champs is there every year, and you get a chance to compete there. But this was the first time para canoe was was at Rio, and and the, the viewership back home was fantastic, and everybody all of a sudden people knew who you were. Did it change your life at all? Has it made has it made you a different person? Has it changed the way your friends and family and everyone sort of see you? Um, yeah, probably a little bit actually. Um, my friends and family, I'm just like, yeah, no, they always just support me and um but yeah I think I've had a lot of people that have like known me from previously just like known me from like primary school and things like that kind of contact me and had seen stuff and yeah which is really really cool to like know that how many people you've come across in your life and how they want to come and support you when they see you succeeding and yeah it's really cool and I suppose I'm assuming there'd be a lot of people out there who all of a sudden maybe up until last year thought that they could never make it or it wasn't worth putting in the effort but you've you've probably inspired a lot of people in similar situations to go out there and 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 make a go of it yeah i hope so yeah i really hope so if anything um i've had a long road to the paralympics um trying in a different sport in equestrian in 2008 i tried to go for beijing and didn't make it and and then I just like found a new sport and it gave me, the para canoe gave me a second chance at, at making it, making my dreams come true, which was to represent Australia at the Paralympics. And so yeah, it's, 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 I hope I can inspire people to keep going and never give up. Well, you certainly inspired us last year and you're continuing to do so, which is fantastic. And we know what great things you're capable of. And we're looking forward to seeing you achieve your dreams this year and, uh, and into the future. And, of course, Tokyo in 2020. We know you'll still be going strong then. Susan, congratulations on the win and congratulations on this week already. And best of luck for the rest of the week. Thanks so much. <laughs>